Hi everyone, this is Maxime Salikov. I'm currently an instructor at the Oakland Air Route Traffic Control Center. And this is Matthew Tedesco. I'm currently an S3 at the Oakland Air Route Traffic Control Center, completing my approach training. Today, we'll be talking to you about the Oakland Oceanic Control Area, the Pacific Oceanic Partnership, as well as a few cool places you can visit within our airspace. The Oakland Oceanic Control Area is the oceanic airspace that is controlled by the Oakland Air Route Traffic Control Center. The airspace covers over 18.7 million square miles over the Pacific Ocean, which is roughly 9.5% of the Earth's total surface area, making it the largest control area in the world. The airspace borders many other facilities and entirely encircles the Honolulu Control Facility and the Guam Serap. Additionally, many small island airports lie within its airspace. The Oakland Oceanic Control Area's biggest traffic flows include traffic from the west coast of the United States to Asia, as well as traffic from the west coast to the Hawaiian Islands. On VATSIM, the traffic density over the Pacific Ocean has not historically been very high, which led to the formation of the Pacific Oceanic Partnership to encourage more staffing and thus more traffic within the airspace. The partnership was established in 2006 between VATUSA and VATPAC. VATNZ was brought into the agreement when the division was established in 2007. Under the agreement, a controller certified for Oceanic within any of the participating divisions could control the other division's Oceanic airspace as long as they review a document outlining the local controlling differences instead of going through the full local training progression. In 2021, VATUSA came together with VATPAC and VATNZ to draft a new partnership letter of agreement that would allow the Oakland Oceanic Control Area to be managed by the Oakland Air Route Traffic Control Center with division oversight. This change has enabled more realistic procedures and more comprehensive training to be provided for oceanic control. The most obvious feature of the airspace is that it is purely non-radar. Controllers rely on position reports from aircraft to determine where they are located and to apply separation. This leads to planes having to be separated by time instead of distance, unlike in radar-controlled airspace. Modern technologies such as ADS-C, which is essentially automated position reporting, enable smaller separation minima within the airspace. Still, instead of the 5 nautical mile minimum that is standard en route separation in the continental United States, the absolute smallest distance planes can be separated within the Oakland Oceanic Control Area is 30 nautical miles. The sheer amount of airspace within the Oakland Oceanic Control Area leads to a wide variety of traffic transiting the airspace. Trans-Pacific routes and routes from the mainland to Hawaii are certainly the bread and butter of the airspace, but there are plenty of other opportunities for flying. Many tiny islands are located in the Pacific Ocean and provide for scenic hops, hops across the airspace. Most of these islands are so tiny that you won't see them on a map until you take a very close look. If you want to fly IFR, you'll have to familiarize yourself with uncontrolled field procedures. VFR within the Oakland Oceanic Control Area is authorized within 100 nautical miles of any landmass during the daytime and below flight level 200. If visiting historical airfields involved in the Pacific Theater of World War II is something that sounds interesting to you, you could visit Midway Atoll, identifier Papa Mike Delta Yankee, or Wake Island, identifier Papa Whiskey Alpha Kilo. Either way, you'll be greeted with beautiful island scenery. An additional military field, the Buchholz Army Airfield, identifier Papa Kilo Whiskey Alpha, though located on an island that is entirely a military base, handles commercial flights to many other islands in the vicinity. Commercial passengers are transported in a boat to another part of the Kwajalein Atoll as soon as they leave the airport. From here, you can also start out some VFR exploration around the other parts of Marshall Islands, such as Majuro, identifier Papa Kilo Mike Juliet. A lot of the islands in the Pacific rely on aviation as one of their primary links to the rest of the world. So there are plenty of additional small airfields to explore. Some fields to check out include Christmas Island, Papa Lima Charlie Hotel, Palmyra, 
Papa Lima, Papa Alpha. Bueno, Papa Tango, Kilo Kilo. Panape, Papa Tango, Papa November. And Koshire Island, Papa Tango, Sierra Alpha. Before you go, make sure the runway is long enough. We look forward to seeing you fly in our airspace. And for all you controllers, the Oakland Air Traffic Control Center is always looking to take on more oceanic controllers. We are providing an ability for C1 rated visitors to join specifically to receive training on and later control the oceanic control area. No domestic Oakland controlling is required. While most of the time, controlling our ocean is quite Pacific, there are times when you will scratch your head at how you can release a departure off of two neighboring island airports while appropriately applying non radar separation. If this sounds exciting to you, we are looking forward to seeing your visitor application. Um, Oakland, um, Oakland Central Max Zero Nevin Romeo, present position back me at time 012 Zulu, flight level 600, estimating board at 0141 Zulu, beta thereafter, mark 2.25 ground speed, 1241. 